What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are at Grassmeyer Zoo in Nashville, Tennessee and we are going to be doing a review on the Canon EOS R8. It's going to be a mirrorless camera and uh, since I'm upgrading from the EOS R I'll try to give you guys my opinions on what's different, what's better, and uh, the new features on it and just my overall general opinion on it. Alright, let's get into it. And so came a time where all boys need a new toy. Why I chose the Canon R8? Well, my EOS R was getting a little long in the tooth. 720p slow motion just wasn't cutting the mustard. And I wanted to update my camera's capabilities. Mainly in video, but also in photography. Now I try to go for the highest quality I can afford at the smallest form factor. And since the R8 has the same body as the EOS RP, it's a very lightweight camera. It has the exact same 24.2 megapixel sensor as the R6 Mark II and it shares the same processor as the R3, which is three times the price of the R8. So I ended up doing a ton of research and I bought the R8 used at KEH for just under $1,200, saving a couple hundred bucks. The image quality is only limited to your lens's performance capability. If you're thinking, oh, a 24 megapixel uh, sensor is not enough, know that this is a better sensor than the EOS R which has a 30 megapixel sensor. So your noise and darkness will be lower and your pictures will be rendered more accurate. As you can see in the video, uh, the quality is phenomenal. If you couldn't already tell by now, my favorite settings are 120 frames per second or the 180 frames per second. Now this slows down the image and it really showcases a moving subject in such a beautiful and smooth way. Plus, since this camera only has digital stabilization, the slow motion really takes any micro jitters away and it gives your viewers a silky smooth kind of immersive video quality that only a gimbal could match. Now this brings me to the big question that you are probably asking. Do you need in-body stabilization? If you are thinking I need image stabilization like the R6 Mark II, well here's a quick fact. Canon's in-body stabilization sucks. Bad. It's warpy, it's wobbly, and to me it's just unusable. The R8 has enhanced digital stabilization, which combined with your lens's optical image stabilization will give you a really good steady image. And unless you are a pro sports videographer or shoot weddings, this camera will do nothing less than create impressive dreamy footage and magical photos. All of these videos and photos are unedited uh, unedited coming straight out of camera so you know that this camera's possibilities are whatever you want it to be so I guess uh, I'll just let you enjoy the footage So what'd you guys think? Um, definitely with the Tiger videos, oh my God, those were so buttery smooth. Um, I definitely think we got a good bump up uh, on the R8 compared to the EOS R, especially on video capabilities, not so much on the photography aspect. Uh, even though I believe in the shadows, if you're really pixel peeping, you can definitely uh, see that the R8, it just uh, renders the images just a little bit better. So hopefully you guys uh, liked the review and if you guys have any comments, or want me to do another review on this or that, or just curious about something, put it in the comments box below and we will go from there. All right, see y'all in the next adventure. Bye.